Hi. Hello. Microsoft Paint. The loved, the hated, the loved to be hated art program from the early 2000s. Audiences claiming it to be the worst art program of all time. However, that does not stop people from using it. We call those people masochists. I unironically love using MS Paint. It's like my hometown. It was a major part of my digital art process all the way up till when I got my first art tablet in 2017, and I haven't really gotten sick of it yet. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I'll see what tips I can come up with as well. So today we are going to be drawing a birthday gift for my friend Aaron. Apparently art challenges and birthday gifts go really well together. <laughs> Faye is a gaming channel and Faye once streamed an anime game called Genshin Impact. I know very little about the game beyond what was in that stream, and I'd far from consider myself a fan. And take it from me, making fan art for something that you're not a fan of is extremely difficult. Sketching was a pretty standard process. I used a colored sketch with the regular pencil tool which made it significantly easier to remove later. I was originally going to use shape tools to set up my really basic skeleton, but it felt weird now that I didn't have to. It was actually pretty difficult to get the sketch to actually look like Aaron, especially since I didn't realize until way later that Aaron actually wears glasses. <laughs> it immediately fixed fair identity, and I struggled for nothing. <laughs> I had a lot of problems getting the design right, actually. The belt thing was a goddamn nightmare that I ended up just winging, and I couldn't remember what sword Faye was using, so I just followed the sword for my reference. Apparently it was the right one, but I, <laughs> I had no idea while I was actually drawing. And you know what, I'm sure I got some other things wrong, but whatever, it was close enough. Lining was quite straightforward as well. I got to experiment with making things that were going to be black in the color stages, actually part of the line work, as well as some white lines that I added later, namely in the gloves and the weird star underskirt. I used shape tools much more prevalently, simply because of how much more control they give you, especially the curve tool. By the way, if you use Control plus or Control minus on your numpad, you can get brush and pen sizes in between and over what presets give you. And that's true for any eraser, brush, or shape. This is especially important if you want consistent line work, because uh, the pen and shape presets are not the same <laughs> at all, so I, I had to adjust that manually to get a nice, consistent line. To remove the sketch, I used the transparent selection tool to make all the white the same color as my sketch, and then moved it into a blank area to make it all white again leaving only my line work. So there are no hassles with erasers, pixel perfect misses, or paint buckets, none of that. I've also used a similar method to create a layering technique whenever I do more complex shading. I didn't use it here, but you can see what I mean in a couple other speed paints I've done. and always will be the more complicated part of using MS Paint. The outfit was mostly white, so I suppose that made it easier. The silver and gold was fine. You don't have to do a whole lot to turn something from just yellow to gold and same for gray to silver. Just some random darker and lighter lines and boom, it's gold now. For the hair, I used mostly a mix of the eraser tool and line tools. I blocked in a bunch of colors and then used the eraser tool to make the change a little more gradual. If you right-click while erasing instead of left-clicking, you can erase the second color within your first color. Something like this. Cool? Cool. 
I mostly went for a cell shaded look and I definitely wasn't going for anything crazy. I got my shading colors by taking the base color and making it darker and more vibrant. It wasn't a specific light source or anything. Not my most impressive lighting job, I'll fully admit. It was more or less whatever I was wanting to do. My favorite part of this piece in particular is the eyes. I don't know what it is about them. It was just so easy to make them so vibrant and anime, and it honestly just came out way cooler than any eyes in my actual works. So, you know, I may be incorporating that later on. I'd like to specify that this is not a tutorial by any means, not even really on how I do it. It's just what I did for this piece. Mostly because a full-blown tutorial on how I work with MS Paint would have so many options, nothing is consistent. But nonetheless, here are some last minute tips that I didn't already mention. Don't use the basic colors. They're oddly dull and you're much better off finding your own colors or sampling them. Save every step of your process. It's okay to have a massive canvas or a separate file to just keep pasting every step in. Use the marker tool to get in between shades, even if you use a different tool to do the actual gradienting. Or alternatively, you can make a seamless gradient by compressing the fuck out of two colors in a separate document and then adding it to the drawing you're actually working on. Sharpen the edges of your line work. MS Paint doesn't recognize pen pressure, and taking a couple minutes to do this will make your work look much more finished. Practice it, obviously. Like any program, MS Paint will also take some time to learn and get used to, despite it having a very simple setup. Don't expect your skill to immediately transfer from one program to another. Experiment too, if I miss something, let me know, I'm looking to learn more as well. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I've really missed making videos, but I can't guarantee that my uploads will speed up at all. <laughs> School has been kind of kicking my ass, but I'm not dead yet, so that's cool. I hope you're doing fine, all things considered, and I'll see y'all later.